Hey you guys, so I want to show you the inspo cut that my customer came in with and how she wanted her hair cut. And I know some of you guys will be like, mm, that's just the bob. Just one, two, three, that is easy. But I want to show you guys how I cut it. And this is techniques in ways that I was trained when I was working in super cuts and they taught me how to cut any type of cut and it's really easy but I want you guys to check it out and see what I did and remember to comment down below hit the like button and subscribe for more videos to come so let's get into it okay as you can see on the back of her back I do have a cutting board to place on the back of the cape so it's easy to cut through and your cuts can be precise. And right now I'm having difficulty because I did take a small amount of hair so it can be flimsy going through the shears but make sure you use shears and not scissors because shears are more sharper, they give you a precise look and they are definitely created to cut hair so i am cleaning it up right now and with your parts you want your parts to be straight and curve around the head as you can see her part it curves to the head so you guys can see and right there i am doing the cut straight through i do make sure i part through the hair i don't want to take a big chunk of her hair and just cut right through it because you can mess up the haircut and your customer will be mad and what's the point if you're just going to chop off the hair then i might as well have done it at home right right so right here i'm cleaning it up again get the little fine tunes take those out so it can look professionally done. You always want your work to look clean, professional, and beautiful because you want your customers to know it's the difference between coming to you and doing their hair themselves. You want them to always know that. And once again, like I said, make sure your parts are clean and make sure your parts are precise. That will always give you the perfect haircut may take a little time you may take a little more time than the next person but overall doesn't matter when you get a great look let's be honest no one cares no one cares so once again like i said i am cleaning up the fine tunes of her hair so it can be nice and precise And right in here, I am taking the level that I did on her back. I am just leveling it out on her sides. As you can see, over on her sides, it was less hair. So I was able to take that full amount, comb it completely down, and just follow through with the shears from her back to her front. And you want to make sure that you clean up those fine tunes. Like I always said, pay attention to the little hairs that flies away and hides. You wanna get those because you want it to look clean and nice. All right, so I'm on the other side and I'm just doing the same thing. I'm taking the back and I'm following through with the front so the cut can be completely even. Remember, we're doing a blunt bob here that is what we're trying uh, to achieve so make sure you bring the hair from the back and follow it up with the front so it all can look even and nice and we're almost there don't this look cute i'm feeling it i'm feeling it already so like i said once again i combed it down and i start to cut and make sure you bring the hair out if you feel like it could be some hair hiding. Bring it out, level it out so you can even it out and make sure everything is nice. So you comb it to the back to make sure nothing 
is uh, longer than the actual length she wants her bob because you want her to be able to comb her hair any kind of way and it still gives that look nothing is uneven nothing is hiding you want it to look good we are professionals here and of course like I said I take it to the next side and I follow through doing the same thing make sure you pull it out and even it out pull it out to even it out and as you can see we're almost there we're almost finished so you want to bring it to the front and I know you guys can't see but you bring the hair to the front you make sure it's at the same level and you just cut off what needs to be cut off this video is not for beginners these are more for people that's a little invested in hair cutting because you can kind to take what I'm saying on top of what you see and piece it together so right here as you can see the bob the blunt bob cut is already done i'm just just making sure everything is perfect so she can get the cut she paid for so what you guys think thank you so much for staying and watching this video and i'll catch you guys